Hey guys, well I'm just about to start actually a few videos. I'm going to be doing a clutch job video as soon as the clutch parts get delivered. I got some of them in. I got a gasket, oil, oil filter. I'm waiting on the actual springs and discs. But man, I'm getting really, really tired of going back and forth for tools, especially when I'm searching for just the right size socket or something like that and having to get up. Especially if I'm in the middle of a video, find the right one. It's just a pain in the ass. And I got a lot of tools, and I keep getting more tools the more projects I'm doing. So I'm on a hunt this morning for a really cool rolling tool chest. I don't mind spending a little bit of money on it, but I don't want to go crazy. You know, I'm not a mechanic. I don't have a shop worth of tools, but I do have a bunch of stuff that I want to organize. And I want something that I can wheel out here. The wife's crap is very soon going away. Uh, definitely is looking like she's getting the Florida virtual teaching job, which means no more actual classroom crap. Goodbye crap here. Goodbye crap here. There's more crap in the house. So she said she's going to try to sell what she can. I don't care if she sells it, burns it, gives it away. As long as it's out of the house and the garage, I'm a happy camper. But I got a ton of crap. So I wouldn't mind... You know, I'm using that room right now. I'll show you what's in there in a second. But I, I want something that's able to wheel through this door. And I found a few that if I turn them sideways, they'll wheel through no problem. It's it's not a full-size door. It, I'm not sure what this room was. It's kind of like an add-on. This is like... I mean, it's a cookie-cutter house built in the 70s. But it's the largest model with all the options that they had. And I guess this could have been a bathroom. Because there is a drain. I can feel it underneath the tiling of the this vinyl flooring I can feel the drain under there and I don't know you know what the the deal was who constructed this part of the house you know it's original it's cinder block it goes all the way through but you know it's like a half size room you know so I don't know if they knocked a hole in the cinder or if it was built this way or whatever but you can see this door is you know barely wider than my arm <laughs> so um yeah i'm not sure how wide that is but the carts i'm looking at are 26 to 27 inches on the wide side so i don't, I don't want the huge ones i want the mid-size ones but turning them sideways that'd be no problem anyway you can see i just got a bunch of crap in here this started out mm, about half full and I haven't even put away the tools since the bobber build. Normally, I don't have them even laying out like this. I have them on pegboard and in my cases and in my fold-up cases and all this stuff. But, ugh, I knew I wanted to do something, so I just said, screw it, I'll do something later. But I've just been adding and adding and adding. It's all useful stuff. It's not junk, you know. It's just taken over. You know, I got these shelves down here that... There was a guy in the neighborhood, I guess, when these houses were built, that built all these custom cabinets, and they are freaking awesome. That whole wall, you know, it's a good uh, foot and a half deep, and it's all storage. I mean, it's filled with mostly her crap, but they're really cool. And they also did them in here. And this is actually an awesome, solid as a rock workbench. You know, I mounted a vise to it. It doesn't move. Uh, it doesn't flinch. You know, it's all solid wood all the way through. So I got a whole bunch of motorcycle parts in here, stock stuff I'm keeping, larger stuff, you know, yard work stuff, irrigation lines, my old stock windshield, brake rotors that I just haven't thrown out yet, bigger tools, you know, stuff like that. But that does no good for tools. And this pegboard, I mean, it's okay for the bigger stuff that I could hang up, you know, saws and stuff that you wouldn't want to put in drawers anyway. And, yeah. I need something for all this kind of stuff. This is the kind of stuff that I use the most. Wrenches, sockets, Allen keys, you know, all different kinds of stuff. Different sizes and depths, and I've just got tons of stuff. So this is what I'm looking to really organize. And then I got a ton of specialty stuff, you know, all kinds of drivers and stuff like that. But I got electrical parts. I used to do a lot of electrical work and uh, specialty tools that I made and you know, bigger stuff here, polishers and, you know, just sanders, stuff that I need to organize. And then I can use this if I can get rid of, you know, some of this clutter, hopefully all of the clutter, I can better organize my bigger stuff like my cans, you know, all this stuff. I've thrown out everything that was expired or, you know, the, the super glues that dried shut. This one's probably, yep, he's done. <laughs> Throw him out. But, you know, I'm, I'm out of room. So, 
I'm gonna head on over to Harbor Freight. I've looked online. Harbor Freight looks like they have the one I want. It's gonna be about 200 bucks for a really decent size one. Three different sections on rollers and all that kind of good stuff. I checked out online at Sears, Home Depot, and Lowe's. Lowe's doesn't carry jack except for the really expensive ones and the huge ones. I'm not interested in those. Sears, you know, predictably, they're pretty much out of business. They only have one freaking stock item in store. Everything else is a mail order. And I'm not mail ordering this because everyone wants like a hundred bucks shipping because it's so freaking huge and heavy. So of course I'm only going to be picking this up wherever I get it in store. Uh, Home Depot has a few stuff. Yeah, they got a few brands like their Husky and their MDX and stuff like that, but they don't really have anything in the middle. They've got really cheap ones, smaller ones, starting at about 120 bucks. And then they got the bigger ones, but I'm looking for right in the middle and Harbor Freight has a couple right in the middle. So I'm gonna go take a look right now and hopefully I come back with a new cart. I can start getting this crap out of the way. I don't know if I'm gonna organize it before or after I do these videos. Maybe I'll do the parts I'm, or the tools I'm gonna be using before, but I don't really have much room yet. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Let's go take a look. All right, here's here's a unit I had in mind. It's uh, 179 plus tax. First impressions, pretty shitty. Really rickety smooth just cheap flimsy you know just not high quality can't say this would inspire a lot of faith so luckily I don't need this many drawers so a smaller unit at Home Depot might be the ticket now looking over at this one, obviously a much better line. Almost the same price, but a lot smaller. Huge difference. Butter smooth, quiet, not flexing apart, a lot thicker metal. So I mean, this, this feels like sheet metal. I can flex it with my hand. Would not have confidence. That's solid, twice as thick. Just the whole general construction. This is like a cheap toolbox, you know? And of course it looks like shit too. It's like this almost unpainted matte finish. There's no, you know, nice gloss like here or the red. I don't care what color, but that yeah, looks like garbage. This one's an option, something to keep in mind. It's 10 bucks more, 189. And it's got this optional $20 side tray, which is actually pretty darn handy. Put a computer on it or that stuff you're working on uh, it's got big drawers I'd rather have a bunch of little drawers than big ones and I really don't need this huge area down there I mean I've got enough huge areas to put stuff so I'd rather have one that's all drawers but the quality is excellent this is just nice and solid beautiful roller ball bearings all the drawers lock we've got little latches right here so you can't accidentally take them open or uh, you know, tip them or anything like that and they lock shut when you put the top down it's on this hydraulic lift or pneumatic I should say again nice nice open area here but I don't really need a ton of open area all of these are extra they do have this really neat organizer in this drawer for all your wrenches I'd rather have a bunch of little drawers that I could just put the wrenches in you know like a bunch more of these little guys they got this socket organizer in here so I don't know. Keep looking. I know Home Depot had some more along this line, so I'm gonna run over there, see what they got, and uh, go from there. So here we got what Home Depot has, Husky brands. Bigger stuff down there. Don't need those. They sell everything in separate. So you got the bottom and the top. This would be awesome, but way more than I need. These are about the size that I'm looking for here. Again, separate. Uh, they're in between. These bearings feel better, but the construction, the metal, feels just as flimsy as that piece of crap at Harbor Freight. It's just uh, not confidence inspiring, very lightweight. They're smooth, but no extras, no drawer liners. 
this is like sheet metal. I'm pretty small. You know, much, much smaller overall space. And the larger the drawers get, the more flimsy they feel. And over in this one, this is limited edition. These drawers feel a lot better. But again, just it's so flimsy. They got these like retention things, so they pop shut. They, I mean, they feel more solid in your hand. But then you get down here to the base, and they're just as flimsy again. It's like they only did the, the small ones the right way. So, and again, nothing extra. These aren't cheap. These two here, 200 bucks plus tax. These here, uh, 180 and 120. So, totally not worth it. And then they go up from there, just adding a couple extra drawers. I don't know. I guess I'll stop by Sears and see if they see if they have anything. It's kind of on the way back. Well, they got a lot of floor models. You can try out everything, but oh my god, <laughs> three, four times the price. Forget about it. And you know what's sad? Everything except their top-of-the-line $1,000 plus units, just as flimsy as the Husky brand. Can't imagine why Sears is almost out of business. Well, new game plan. Absolutely none of those make me want to open my wallet. Either it's just too damn cheap quality-wise, no matter what the price is to be functional, or it's the wrong format for what I want, or it's just too damn expensive. So... I don't know. Got to figure something out. Okay, new game plan. I found a place that's a wholesaler. They're about 45 minutes away. There's another one in Tampa about an hour away. I'll hit the closer one first. Probably going to have the same stuff. Anyway, they take big box store closeouts and overstocks and some scratch and dents and maybe some returns, stuff like that. So they got all kinds of stuff that's pretty much the same stuff sold at Home Depot, or at least was, maybe last season, that kind of thing. And they do have some tool chests. Stock is going to vary day to day. They've got some pictures from a few months ago of tool chests and stuff up there. And they just say, come on in and see what we have. So I'm going to grab some lunch, freaking starving. Then I'm going to head on down there and try to get back before rush hour. Who knows? Maybe they'll have something that fits. Maybe they'll have something that was just too expensive I didn't want to pay for. Uh, maybe they'll have something that, you know, it's lesser quality, but, you know, dirt cheap, can't resist. I don't know. I have no idea what I'll find. But other than that, if I don't find anything there, I think I'm just going to hold off, live with what I got, and that's that. I'm really not looking to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to clean up the tool room. Like I said, not using these every day, I'm not a mechanic, not a shop. So they're not going to, it's not going to make me any money. So, you know, I... I'll, I'm glad to spend money on quality, but only for what I need. This isn't just a, oh, you know, I'll just uh, buy a tool chest because I want one. No, not worth quite that much to me. So, let's head on down there. Strike out. Drive down for nothing. Absolutely none in stock. He said neither. The other store doesn't have any either. He said uh, you just got to keep checking back. They go real quick. Bummer. I don't know. I'm going to give up for now.